we're back with more Legend of Korra. We're on episode 7. It's called The Reunion, so it's gonna be great. I'm excited for this episode, of course, just based off the title alone. So please like this video out on YouTube. If you want to see more episodes and full version, it's out on Patreon. Link in description. Babu! Even you're joining in on The Reunion, of course. And Naga! Oh. I miss Appa. I miss Appa. Like, it's just not the same. <laughs> I miss you so much, girl. Mom, Dad, we're back, and we got Cora. A sight for sore eyes. Oh, I sure missed you. It's so great. To they were worried. They were trying to look for you. Well done, kids. I'm proud of you all for finding Cora. Mission accomplished. My dad's? No. <laughs> <laughs> How about you use your own legs for a while? Why are you, you know, carrying I him? In Public City with Julie. She carried me 20 miles in one day. And that was after she sprained her ankle. Damn. Well, he's not here, okay? <laughs> yeah, Bolin, why are you doing it? Leave me here, let the worms gobble me up. I deserve it. No way, mister. You're not getting off that easily. You're responsible for that weapon Kuvira's trying to make, which, may I remind you, could hurt a lot of people. No, don't remind me. I know, I'm a horrible, horrible person. But, you know how we're gonna make it up to the world? By getting back to Republic City and warning everyone what she's up to. That's right, so, Bolin. I want you to take my hand. Let's go, take initiative. Look at you, leader. Forest. Wow. You really have a way with words, kid. No wonder I made you a mover star. <laughs> All right, I'll take the driver's seat for a while. Hop on. <laughs> oh, Christ. Give me some break. Okay, oh, boy. Yeah, it's not going to work out. I bet he could, Loki. Oh, my. Ain't no way. Are you kidding me? That's actually crazy. No, that's actually crazy. <laughs> I hope you haven't been waiting long. Only three years. Oh, the three, the blue. She's with the blue it's now. So good to see you again. You too. And I'm loving the hair. Thanks. You're looking snazzy as always. <laughs> Come on. Mako got us a table at the restaurant. Cora. Hi, hmm. Mako. Just a dinner with your exes. Hello there, Prince Wu. Rightful heir to the <laughs> throne and this guy's boss. <laughs> I bet he's told you a lot about me. Nope, they haven't really talked. Thing. Then we have so much to talk about. Wow. You are going to love the food here. I know the chef personally. Let's start with a round of your spicy octopus fritters. What about bro code, man? Like... <laughs> hey, pop into the Avatar state for me. I want to see your eyes. <laughs> what? No. Aww. So can you go into the Avatar state again? I was worried when you told me you couldn't. Wait. When did she tell you she couldn't? Uh... What's going on with you two? I wrote to Asami while I was away. I asked her not to tell you. I'm sorry. Well, why didn't you ever write to me? Or bowl in? I don't know. Well... I guess I didn't know what to say. I don't know. She's closer with Asami. It's different with girls, I guess. Well, I kind of have some big news. I went to visit my father for the first time. He'd been writing me letters, and I guess I finally felt ready to try and forgive him. You sure you can trust him? He might just be manipulating you again. You think I don't know what my own father is capable of? No, no, I didn't mean- You don't get to disappear for three Whoa. years and then act like you know what's best for me. She's being defensive, but she just cares for you. As much as I'm enjoying this little catch-up, my royal bladder is about to explode. Okay, Marco, come on. peace out. I need you to stand guard. I'm not gonna hold your hand every time you have to empty your royal bladder. Oh, what does he? Your own for once? Does he hold his hand? Literally. <laughs> Do you always go to the bathroom with him? I don't go with him. With him, I just stand there in the general right. vicinity while he. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Perhaps a spritz of cologne to freshen up. Make it a double, buddy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is why you need a guard. Down. That's crazy, actually. <laughs> why do they want him? Like, he's already has no 
Like political control. Hello, fellow travelers! I don't suppose you could help us out of this net. Why would we free a couple of lowly Earth Empire soldiers? Lowly? We were part of Kuvira's inner circle. We're not anymore. We jumped ship. Please just let us out. I think I know just what to do with a couple of Kuvira's top men. Damn. I wonder what's taking Wu so long. Wu, you in here? Come huh. on, your octopus fritters are getting cold. Oh, man. He's in there, Cora. I'll be right back. He's so smart. Uh-uh. Excuse me, did you happen to see if Prince Wu came out this way? Sorry, miss. I haven't seen him. Mm, I'm in laundry. <laughs> Holy shit. Cora, you just gonna take that? Damn, it's crazy how they can do that. The car! I'm going after them! I'm doing laundry, he said. <laughs> Yeah, like you getting away? What? That did nothing. Oh, oh. He did a better job than Cora. Cora, why didn't you do that? We're losing them. Like hit the right of the next block. We can cut him off on seven. You missed the turn. Where are you going? I know these streets better than you. That's right. Your dad's right. Don't tell Asami how to drive. Where is he? Yeah, like. Who's not here? This guy was the only one in the truck. Really? Where's the prince? <sighs> Halfway to Kuvira by now. <clears throat> All hail the great uniter. Must or they might try smuggling him out on an airship. Or maybe a boat. He could be anywhere. Wait, Cora got ideas. One time I don't watch him pee, and this is what happens. <laughs> the spirits might know. <laughs> Where? They're taking Wu to the train station. Are you sure? How do you know? She just knows. The Avatar powers, of course. Will you at least tell us where you're taking us? The border checkpoint. You're going to help us talk our way past some Earth Empire soldiers. And once we're through, we'll see about letting you go. Wow. Like, you ain't going to tell them what to do. Like, please. <laughs> Lava time. Bet you didn't expect that. Look, I'm sorry for what happened to all of you, but as I've been trying to explain, we don't work for Kuvira anymore. Yeah, if our hands... Yeah, but how are they going to trust you? That checkpoint is our only way out. It's not worth the risk, Baraz. How do we know they won't turn us in? If you wanted us gone, we'd be at the bottom of a pool of lava right now. If any of us want to get out of the Earth Empire alive, we'll have to trust each other. All right. Where's this checkpoint? <laughs> Yo, when, when Bolin takes charge. <laughs> some spirit vines. I learned how to connect to people's energy through them. Who taught you that? Lin's mom. I found her in the swamp. That place is like one giant spirit wild. You met Toph? Mm-hmm. She sure did. <laughs> it was such a good episode. Damn, I miss her already. I can't believe it. Toph was gone like that. <laughs> Which train is Wu on? I don't know. Split up and start looking. Good afternoon, sir. Can we help you? We sure can. We capture these escaped prisoners. We need to get them to a secure facility. I like the accent. From? Camp 14? Then why are you <laughs> bringing them through here? Camp 14's back the other way. You think we don't know where Camp 14 is? Kuvira wants them transferred. Then I'll need to see the transfer order. Listen, pal, I had to fight off two badger moles, six wolf bats, and 18 hog monkeys to get these guys. So sorry if I don't have the paperwork. So you can let us through, or you can give me your name and rank, and I'll pass it on to Kufira. You know what happens to soldiers who question her orders, don't you? Bad stuff! 
Let them through. <laughs> That'll do it. Oh, <gasps> good shit. Looked him straight in the face. Well, that's not gonna stop Bolin. Oh, Bolin got these, got this easy. No way I'm going back to prison. That's right. Come on, Bolin. Come on, Bolin, show him what's up. I want to see freaking him doing the action. Like, he could stop this shit. Just lava bend all this stuff. <gasps> Holy. Come on now. That's right. Oh. That's not gonna stop them. <laughs> the mecha monsters? Ah. Uh. Still got that very touch. Without without Julie either, too. Clear. Come on. Alright, come on. Well, he wants to help them too, of course. He's not gonna leave them. Barrett, wait, we can't leave them. He's like, why not? <laughs> That's right. Ooh, that's right. Tell him, Bolin. Shit. Thanks. You didn't have to come back. Yeah, I kind of did. But where is he? If we don't find Wu soon, we might never find him. Okay, but don't make a scene. Like, don't you're like alerting the masses that you guys are here trying to look for him. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay, good. They made it. How do you know for sure he's here? Cause I she don't. just knows she has the avatar Are powers. You to trust your avatar feelings? Literally. You wouldn't have to if you had guarded the prince like you were supposed to. That's your job, you know. Oh, oh. this is what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> the way they just announce things. It's certainly not mine. Guys, shh. Listen. For real. Oh, there he is. Damn. <laughs> whoa, whoa, it's me. Marco? Where am I? Am I dead? No, you're on a train. Same thing. We're gonna get you out of here. <laughs> He's like, I'd rather be dead. Damn, from both sides. Wow. Out. I'm not going up there. You don't got a choice, the hell? <laughs> you're the first one. Oh wow. They literally crossed the the train when they're over the ocean. Wow. Okay, now they can escape. Oh my gosh. Okay, Asami, pop off. Um. <laughs> Broke the fall. Kinda. Bounced off of it. Not Damn. Exactly imagine for our first day back together but it was kind of like old times yeah except for the getting on each other's nerves part actually that is like old times for me and Cora true I'm sorry things got so tense <laughs> the face it's all right I guess after being apart for three years there's bound to be a bit of an adjustment period yeah but it's great to have you back there's no place else I'd rather be <laughs> 
<laughs> you guys are the greatest friends a guy can Aww. have. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do with him? It's too dangerous to take him back to the hotel. Woo, you're telling me! I need a cushy safe house somewhere! I think I know just the place. Where? What is this? Nice digs, Mako. You didn't tell me you came for money. I don't. He was homeless. She was nice enough to let my family stay here after they fled Ba Sing Se. Oh. Uh -huh. Mako, it's so wonderful to... <gasps> Are you? <laughs> Grandma, this is Prince Wu. He needs to stay with you and Yeah, she loved, like, the royalty, the queen. Oh, no. Grandma Mako. <sighs> <laughs> she could die happy now. I think I'll fit right in here. Thanks for looking out for me, Mako. Now, where's the nearest bathroom? I have been holding it all day. We're heading north, too. Why don't you come with us? Nah. What's the least we can do after you saved our necks? On that hunk of junk? No, thanks. <laughs> I'm allergic to drowning. <clears throat> I mean, uh, we'd love a lift. <laughs> I'm allergic to drowning. This area is overrun with spirit vines. And they appear to be even more powerful than the samples we took from Republic City. Perfect. Harvest these vines until there's nothing left. Wow, she's gonna nuke the place. This was the reunion that we had, except we haven't had a reunion with Bolin. Like, we're not fully together yet. It was nice because we had a good outing, and it was like old times because it was like a mission. And by the end of the episode, it was almost like it was like a like a, like a a solved problem because we did um, protect, take back Prince Wu, and now he's in a good safe house. But obviously, there's other problems that are occurring, so... We also have to meet Bolin. It's kind of sad that, like, you know, it's been so long since they've met each other and, like, been together. But it was nice that at least the three of them, you know, like, did their things. <laughs> like, they worked together. They, they were you know, doing their things together. <laughs> uh, so, it's interesting. Korra's also, like, so much more closer with Asami than Mako and Bolin. And it's kind of nice. Like, honestly... Um, with the way that Mako has uh, dated them around and everything, I could understand. I could see how, like, the girls might not want to, like, get along or, like, they might have some bad feelings. But it's really nice that they're, like, really close. In fact, closer than ever. In fact, Mako, they don't even think about you anymore, honestly. Now, Bolin, it's kind of surprising because I feel like they were all good friends. They didn't even, she didn't even talk to Bolin at all. So it's kind of sad. And I know he wrote her letters too. Funny as they were, I still remember the letters. They were hilarious. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it's good though. <laughs> uh, but now... Now I guess we just gotta watch the next episode because, you know, obviously she's gonna like nuke the place. She has this energy source. It's kind of a shame that this guy figured out how to like make them based off uh, Varric's demonstration. But, you know, things are progressing and Bolin's out of there and he's going to save the day somehow and they're gonna have their reunion finally, fully, perfectly. Because we need Bolin, of course. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see the full version, it's out on Patreon. Link in description. And yeah, please like this video out on YouTube. Let's boost that algorithm. Um, and yeah, thank you. Now and